Hey guys, on today's video, we're gonna transfer your information from one switch to another. So this is the brand new switch that just came out. This is the older version, and we can just transfer stuff over. So right now, we're just gonna transfer everything. So here's our brand new Nintendo. We're just gonna turn it on. On the top, we're gonna see the power button. It's the same thing as your old switch. And there we go. So this is on for the very first time. You should see that logo coming up. Switch. And might as well turn this one on too, because I haven't turned this one on yet. Right now we just have to go through the process. So we're gonna select English, sure, let's go. Now does this one have to be turned on while we're doing the setup for this one? Not at the moment, later on, yes. But anyways, let's just pick the Americas. We're gonna accept this, because we have to, we have no choice. Now it's gonna search for networks. And we just put whatever network makes sense to you. In this case, for me, we're gonna set it up with Tech and Design PlayStation. No, Tech and Design YouTube channel. Yeah, that's fine. Yours will be obviously different. This is a touch screen, so it keeps being a touch screen, so you can use that. I just use this just not to get my screen all smudged up. Once you put in your password, you will see this that is connecting. And yes, if the noise is kind of annoying, just turn down the volume, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. <laughs> just turn it all the way down. So we don't need to hear all that. Actually, let's just put it up a little bit so you guys get a sense of what you should hear along the process. And right now we should be fine. So right now it's just hooking up to our router. Again, if you're getting any errors, your password might be wrong. You might be too far away from it. So just get closer. And we're just gonna press okay. Just set up whatever time zone makes sense to you. We're gonna select New York. TV, we can actually set this up later and we will. So I will show you how to set this up. You don't have to do it now. You don't even need a TV to set this up. So we're gonna select later. It's telling us to take these guys out, so we will. Take them out, the same thing as your older one. Just slide it out and here we go. So just go throughout the whole setup. Now it is telling you some quick stuff that you can do with this switch, which you couldn't do with the other one. We can just go on to next. And this is the really important part. You have create new user or import data. So let me just bring this closer. We're gonna see the second option again, import data. That's where we're gonna select. It's gonna ask us if we still have the console. Yes, we do, it's back there. So we're gonna hit next, yes. Now this is important to know if you're gonna keep using your old one or not. I'm just gonna assume you guys are. So we're just gonna press yes. We're gonna keep using the old one as well. And we're gonna link the same account. So just go into link same account. It's gonna prepare and yes you do have to sign in so just make sure you know what your account is so you can use sign in just put your email and then password or you can just do sign in with smart device but what i like to do is always with email or id so we're gonna go on and do that again select whatever you had on your previous one and we're just gonna insert our email and then password after you sign in you're gonna see please wait it's gonna load up this page and just press okay then all you have to do is just press a you just press okay on that we can add more users but we can always do this later on if you would like to so we're just gonna skip that part and let's just go into next this is the part where you can add in any parental controls most likely if you're transferring stuff don't worry about this for now we can do this later so you can set up time limits and all that stuff so we're just gonna skip this for now just press on skip. Then all you have to do is just press your home button. Now here comes the part about getting your account back. You basically have it back, but you have to re-download stuff. So right here under featured, let's just go under featured because that's the fastest way to get to Fortnite if that's what you guys want. I'm gonna click on Fortnite. Here's the difference. Since it's under my account, all I can do is just re-download it. So any games that you purchased from before or they're free, it's gonna say re-download. And that's because they're yours. So you can just put them back in. To get to redownload, just tap there and it's gonna redownload Fortnite at this point in time. So from your old Switch, before you take out the SD card, if you have any games that are not saved online, because there's a lot of them that nowadays get saved online. Everything gets saved online. For example, Fortnite. I can go into any console, sign in, I'm gonna see all my skins, everything in there. However, if there's games that are actually saved on your console itself, you can just press this key right here. Just press that plus sign on top of that game. And then you're gonna see this software, manage software. And for manage software, we're gonna see transfer your saved data. We're gonna tap right there. Once you do that, you can just send that saved data to another console. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna send it over. Not that we have to. We're just gonna sign in there. 
we're going to scroll down. We're going to select, in this case, Mario Kart. It could be anything else. And we can just send the save data. So you don't need to place both consoles pretty close to each other. So that means I need to place this one. There's nothing on top of the other one. This is the new one. I'm transferring things from this one to this one. So now on your new switch, just tap on anything that you just downloaded or are downloading, such as I'm downloading Fortnite right now. I'm just gonna press that. I'm gonna go into manage software. It's the exact same instructions actually. And then from here, transfer your data. So in this case, I'm gonna select received data. So I'm gonna receive saved data. So right now they should look up each other up and it should receive the data. So right now it is receiving the data. So if you do have any saved data again, on your old switch, it's just gonna go on and transfer it over. So right now it's telling me that it's done. Press okay, press okay, I can go back. And there we go. So from information from there, it's already transferred over. Fortnite itself, again, you don't need to transfer that over because everything's online, so you're good to go. You do not need to transfer anything over once again. I'm just gonna press B for back. And that's how you guys can transfer over your data from your old switch to your new switch. Now, let me highlight that once you transfer your data, you still have to download the game. So paid games or any free game. I'm just going to go on to my Nintendo eShop. And from there, I'm going to see Mario Kart, which I already own. So I can just re-download it. Same goes with anything else. So I'm going to go into search. I'm going to go into Mario. I'm just going to type in Mario, although there's a lot there. Mario Kart, accept. And here it is, Deluxe. So again, if you wanna re-download anything that you have purchased from before, you don't have to worry about it. It's gonna say purchased. So we do have both and they are purchased. I'm gonna tap on that one and I'm gonna go ahead and re-download it. I'm gonna press okay. So I don't have to pay for it again. I don't have to do anything like that. Now, before I go back, let me just go back in here actually. I want to make sure that I purchased the other one as well. Well, re-download the other one as well. So I'm gonna go on and re-download, press okay. There we go, it's downloading. I'm gonna go back, go all the way back, close this eShop, and I should see it on my home screen. There we go. So right now they're downloading. So here are the games that we are downloading at the moment. So that's Fortnite, Mario, and Mario Kart Live. So those are the three right now that I'm downloading again. Again, as long as I'm signed into my account, I can always re-download anything. I can transfer any saved data from my old console to my new one as well, depending on which game. Again, a lot of games are online right now, especially the ones that you can play on several consoles. Those are usually just saved online. So you don't have to go through this process of just transferring your saved data from one console to another. But anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.